Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another New World video and we're going to be talking about the top 5 reasons to be excited about Amazon's New World MMO. So let's kick it off with number 5. There are no traditional classes in the game. This allows you to be whatever you want to be. While you gain experience and level up just like many players are used to from other titles, attribute and skill points can be freely distributed in whatever you want to focus on. It is uncertain if we will have traditional roles such as a tank, healer, and DPS in the game but the armor and items we've seen so far hint strongly at that being the case. Through character, equipment, customization, rather than predetermined classes and skills. This allows you to be good at more than one thing. So you don't always have to be that tank, DPS, or healer. You can go down multiple paths. Progression, systems, and new world are weapon mastery, trade skills, faction reputation, territory standing, and the PvP outer game. Weapon mastery improves through usage of a particular weapon, and there are 30 skills to unlock for each weapon. There are more than a dozen different trade skills as well. 30 skills to unlock for each weapon. There are more than a dozen different trade skills as well. Number 4. No pay to win. Number 4 is short and simple, but most definitely sweet. So one of the best things we you know did learn about New World is there's definitely going to be no subscription to the game, but the game will have a cash shop. The shop will only offer in-game cosmetic items and skins, with no pay-to-win purchases available. And just a note, there will be exclusive skins for Twitch Prime members. Number three. Now number three seems to be uh, one of the bigger ones, and there's going to be invasions and sieges. With the huge recent blog posts about invasions and sieges. New World seems to have tons of PvE and PvP content for groups of players. Invasions are open to anyone above level 50, but you have to sign up for it and hope to get picked at random before the event starts. Only 50 players can participate, with 10 of them being chosen by the governor of the territory. Invasions happen when the corruption becomes too strong in a territory, roughly every four days at which the point corrupted will siege the fort. If the fort falls, the settlement will lose upgrades such as crafting stations or fort upgrades. During the invasion, you will face 8 waves of corrupted with different skills and even boss encounters. Players will have to prevent them from breaching the gates and destroying the fort claim. To do this, they will be able to use a number of items that they can buy with battle tokens during the preparation phase of the siege, as well as the fort's siege weapons. Sieges are a way for companies to remove their enemies' claims from the world map and take over their settlement. They are pitched as a massive 50 vs 50 battle between companies. To prevent third parties from interfering with the war, the settlement will be shielded from outside influence, making it impossible to participate if you are not invited by one of the two parties. During the war, attackers and defenders gain points that can be used to upgrade defenses or get access to siege equipment or gear. The siege ends either if the attackers manage to breach the walls and claim the flag in the center of the claim, or if the time runs out. Players can sign up to participate in sieges even if they don't belong to a company. Player settlements can only be sieged during a one hour time window that the owning company can define, making sure that players don't have to be on alert 24-7 in order to protect their claim. Players could previously use siege hammers or powder kegs to overcome the settlement's defenses. More siege weapons have been added since then, that can be unlocked and constructed during a siege. There are several capture points that the attackers have to take in order to advance and win the siege. Number two, skill-based gameplay. One of the many things that excites me about New World is the skill-based gameplay combat system that they are introducing. The ability to outplay opponents that have much higher levels and you know, giving these advanced players something to always be working on, skill-based combat is very important to almost all PvP and pretty close to most PvE players as well. Uh, skill-based combat will allow everybody to actually feel like uh, they have an influence on the fight, whether they are low level or high level. You will have an influence based on your skill. Number one, content planned. Uh, you know, we have looked, <clears throat> number one, Content planned. One very exciting thing we have recently heard is that Amazon Game Studios already has a roadmap planned for several months, with content planned for up to 12 months. This kind of planning allows us to expect new content and expansions in the future. New content is almost always exciting and good for any game. If implemented correctly, this could be a huge, huge bonus for Amazon Game Studios. 
I personally can't wait until we have more information and get a few steps closer to closed beta, but make sure to subscribe and like the video if you actually do enjoy the new world content. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.